We will come home. We're coming home to the USA versus Canada. We have a lot of fans in Canada as well, so we won't we won't be won't be super biased in this this talk. No, right, boys. How could we? I'm going to be. I mean, you're talking about come on. The Copa America to. semifinalists against the Copa America group stage exiters. Yeah. Of oh, course, Canada, 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 Canada being the uh, the uh, you know the team that made it farther, but of course, this lineup of Canada, though, I look at it. You got all your big boys. You got Davies. You got Schaffelberg. You got you know Roy's favorite player, Bombito. Bombito, I love Bombito. Compared to us guys, the U.S. men's national team missing a lot of boys. So, guys, let's quickly get into it. What are we looking out for in this match? Yeah, no Over McKinney, right. no Reyna, no manager. Hmm, interesting. And on the other side, you have Mr. Jesse Marsh, who's been very, very vocal, uh, talking a lot of trash about the U.S., about the players, uh, about the fact that he wasn't hired as the manager, about a strange managerial process. He's really got a lot to say, Roy, and I'm starting to wonder, is he going to be able to back all this up? I don't care if he backs it up. He's right. This set of U.S. players are coddled. They're comfortable. They're all about their vibes. They've been talking about it forever. They had their best friend, Greg Berhalter, just giving them, they had like player committees and all these things and leaders within the team. And this is all BS. This is all BS. What Jesse Marsh recently said, players must be made uncomfortable constantly by being pushed to perform above their limits. This team hasn't felt that on the national team level forever. That's why this team failed to get out of Copa America. That's why this team is underperforming. That's why these superstars aren't playing like superstars. So Jesse Marsh is right. I don't care if we go out and beat Canada and then all the Pulisic pulls a shirt up and says, F you, Jesse Marsh. No, he's right. And these players need to accept it. <laughs> could, could you imagine that? Ridiculous. That, could you imagine that's incredible. what happens? No, I, that would be amazing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think about this team. But okay. <laughs> I think with this team, I'm not even excited about this yes, game. Yes, we understand. We understand it's, you're angry. We got that. We got that. Think, man. <laughs> okay. I think a lot of what Jesse Marsh is saying is born of a, he's indignant that he thinks he should have gotten the job, but I'm going to give you guys a news flash. He didn't deserve the job. Did not deserve to be U.S. manager. Yeah, sure. Now, he may be coaching a better team than the U.S. because Canada is very talented and they come to this game, I think, almost as favorites because they are their players are playing better uh the the team is has a better spirit so i'm intrigued and i'm excited about where canada is headed but i will say that i don't think jesse march deserved to be the u.s manager that is a fallacy he's not more qualified than That's you know fine. the manager that we're about to hire he's not more qualified than the managers you know than burhalter he's not he just isn't that's just not and a fact. He is more qualified than Berhalter. No, no, no he's all. failed more yes, than he Berhalter in Europe. He I mean, has so, he has coached much more and much. Okay, more let's not let's not let's not talk about Europe. let's not talk about. I'm, Greg I'm Berhalter. A, Greg I, Berhalter I wanted to be a Mesh Marsh fan from the beginning. I was a huge fan, but then he went over to Europe and had about as bad a spell no, at Leipzig not. at Leeds as a manager could have. As excellent, bad a spell excellent as in Salzburg. Well. And no. sure, didn't do as well for the other two, but he did much better than Bear Halter ever did. And that's Bear what Halter I'm worried about. Fired for lack of goals in what his first year. Okay. In All right. Finland, boys, no, boys, boys, boys. Norway. But I boys, think, you guys, I think yeah, he's go ahead. found Quickly. a team that he can manage and a team that has the players to take him where he needs to go. This okay. Canada team is not about Jesse Marsh. So don't listen to him talk and buy into the hype. This team is about the players. They have the most talented Canadian generation ever. And these players are, yes, very underrated, right? I mean, yeah, Alfonso Davies is by far the best player in the region. Didn't have a great Copa America, so I think he's ready to prove himself. He didn't really step into the captaincy the way you would have hoped. I think he's going to grow into the captaincy now. And, and I think he's going to have a much bigger impact than he did earlier. Okay, boys, Johnson what's going to happen in the match? Okay, what's going to happen in the match? Okay, wait, 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 predictions. What's going on? You guys, you guys love to uh, talk about, like, you know, the history and the everything. What's going to happen? Give me the juice. <laughs> Who's winning? No, I think it's I think a scoring draw. I think it's 2-2. I think Johnson David has to be more efficient in front of goal. He will. He'll get both goals. Uh, I think it's 2-2. Roy. Mm. 
Zero, zero, or one, one. I think it's going to be a, a relatively boring stalemate, mostly because Jonathan David and uh, Kyle Lettering have not been great for Canada on the front line. Alfonso Davies has not been great for Canada. But I will say I'm super excited to see one player in particular. Can you guess who I'm excited to see, boys? Mr. Schaffelberg. It's not Schaffelberg. It is Aiden oh, Morris, not. my friends. Aiden Morris. For the U.S., the Middlesbrough man, he's got to call up. The other one, the Barcelona goalkeeper. Nobody's mentioned that. FC Barcelona's. Mm. Is he backup? He's third-string goalkeeper, but he's 18 years old. He's a dual national of Peru. Mi gente. Diego Cochen. I don't know if it's Cochen or Coquen, but mm. I'm excited for him because we don't have a goalkeeper, guys. We don't have a goalkeeper on this national team. We need to start looking at the young guys, and we are looking at a young guy. So I'm excited. All right. Any more? Any more thoughts on this game? Is Pochettino watching this match from wherever, or what? You know, yeah, we don't. No, he's gonna be watching for sure. Yeah, he'll be watching. He'll be keeping an eye. I'm intrigued as to how Mikey Veras, the the interim manager, plays this. I think it'll be a pretty expected lineup. But I want to see how Schaffelberg does because who will play against him more on that side? It'll be uh, Joe Scally. Will be Scally on, against Schaffelberg on the right side? On the right side, it's Joe Scally. Yep, he would be starting on the right. I'm not sure. that That's a mismatch for Canada, right? I think that Schaffelberg could take him all day. Let's see. I don't know. Just Galley is solid defensively. So yeah. he doesn't do well in the attack. But defensively, I have no issues with Just Galley. If it was Schaffelberg against Dest, I think I'd be a little bit more concerned. Yes, mm -hmm. they, he has the speed, but he doesn't have the defensive prowess. We shall see. It is U.S.-Canada. This is the new rivalry, guys. This is the new rivalry in the CONCACAF region. You know, the U.S., Mexico was before. This is new. Us versus the boys from the north. But we have a lot of Canadian viewers, I know. So, you know, best of luck to you all. But I got to say it. I got to end this podcast by saying it because... I'll end it. Jesse end Marsh it? is right. Jesse Marsh is okay, right. No, that's what I'm ending not, it with. That's not, that's Let's prove we're him doing. wrong, damn it. Let's prove that's, him wrong. That, we okay, have to fine. this point. Come on. Is Canada better than Mexico? Can we say that definitively now? Right now yes, at this moment? They are. They are. At this so. point in time. I think they're a better team in the region than Mexico. 100%, man. They finished in the highest in the Copa America. But all right, One everyone. of the qualifiers. Best team in qualification. Yes. Yes. Semifinals, Copa America. They are the best. They are the best and until until we beat them in this match. So, so everyone out there, for those of you enjoying the well, what's your videos on YouTube. What? I don't Your have prediction. a prediction. No, I'm going to, I'm going to, I think we're going to lose this match. That's why I didn't have a prediction. I think, I think wow. the Canadian boys are going to win two to wow. one, but uh, we shall see. We shall see. So everyone out there enjoying these videos, please subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Enjoy the audio out there on Spotify, Apple podcasts, and wherever else you get your audio. And I will say it proudly. Sorry, Canada. Go U S A. Yes. 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 Yes.